What's up, Fox Trotters? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Maybe consider subscribing before you leave today. If you're returning, hello, it's nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who is getting your dogs together for a walk. It's cold out there. Wear a hat. Not the dog, you. Duh. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I am so ready to bring to you the long awaited r slash anti MLM trash video. This was supposed to be here days ago, but I had technical difficulties. Some of you may be aware. My mic went on to the great big auditory journey in the sky, and uh, I don't want to complain too much. The mic was pretty cheap, so I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. So let's just have a little moment of silence for the old mic. And let's get into the video. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, this mic is very high quality and I'm not used to this, so I apologize for any extra weird sounds you're now able to hear that I am not aware that I'm making. So, <laughs> fun times. By the way, I am aware that there is a slight echo going on with the new mic. Um, I record in a large open room. Um, it's the only place where I'm able to record. I do have a roommate, so it's not like I can just take my pick of the entire house. You know, it's just kind of goes where I go and that's about it. So uh, I do hear that echo and it's not the greatest with my crappier mic that I had previously. We couldn't tell these things, but now since we've gone and done a little upgrade, then it just, uh, I suddenly hear everything uh, that I never heard before. So that's really fun. It might be entirely too early for this level of bad attitude from this particular hun. <laughs> this might have been a mistake to put this in the very beginning of the video and also the sun isn't even up. So I am just already at my limit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read it together. Have you considered offering reduced prices for students? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if students can spend $7.99 on Netflix and $9.99 on Hulu and buy iced coffee every morning, they can afford $9.99 for unlimited workouts. Prioritize your spending. And if you don't have $10 to your name, we should chat about starting your Arbonne biz sooner rather than later. Uh, the prioritize your spending. Don't act like you know my life. <laughs> I don't like that implication or the connotation of any of that at all. <laughs> And just, I mean, okay, students, so what if they're spending $7.99 on Netflix? Maybe maybe all the roommates that live in one house or an apartment or a dorm setting are paying for an account together. Like, don't pretend like you know what everybody's life is like. I don't like these kind of posts where they say, since you buy food at the grocery store every day, then you have money to give to Arbonne. Ugh, I just... The logic of it every time just infuriates me. It's so, <laughs> so rude and it assumes so much. And uh, that's really about all I got to say of that one. Moving on, I need coffee. <laughs> Arbon Hun donated these old items at a charity bazaar the other day. Keyword being charity, right? Oh my God, look at those prices. I had to zoom in to really get a look on that. You guys. Wow. That's nuts. Okay, there's like a packet of something, like a brown packet that looks like it has sprinkles on it in the back left. It's probably like a protein powder of some kind. Or I don't know why I'm assuming that. I don't know why I act like I would know that. I don't. <laughs> but $77. Am I seeing that correctly? Does that say $77? Oh... No, do you see that little dusty eyeshadow palette right in the middle? That little like Claire's slash icing makeup palette. Do you see that? It's got like four eyeshadow pans and like a big old pan of quote unquote highlighter. I don't, hold on. I need to zoom in on this. Let's, let's see. If it's, let's get closer. Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> $62 for four eyeshadows, what looks like a dusty highlighter, and then some sort of dual-ended lippy product that looks like it maybe cost $3 to make at most. Uh, you know, okay, I've said before on here, makeup, I feel like, like the prices of makeup and like fast makeup, I find it ridiculous, I really do, uh, but for $62, you could go get yourself one of those name brand, like big YouTuber palettes and get that and a lipstick or something. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to spend money on makeup, I guess spend it 
wisely. Go get yourself a palette that really matters, I suppose. If you're going to spend $62, please, for the love of all the cats and dogs in the world, do not spend $62 on four dusty eyeshadows with a dusty highlighter and some gross looking lip product. I'm I I'm so aghast at this. I can't even. Also, in my, in my rage over the price of that palette, I completely forgot to circle back to the fact that this was an item, quote unquote, donated to a charity bazaar. So I don't know where you get off thinking that you're, instead of donating items, you're going to sell them at full price. What on earth? I have never heard of that. You're nuts. No. This one I included in here more just because it seemed really relevant, uh, at least to the Avon video that I did recently. So... The, the company is changing. It has changed. A lot of you have noticed that already before I even made the video. Some of you became well aware on your own because y'all y'all are a bunch of smart cookies and you don't need me at all. But, <laughs> but there have been some other things, one of them being those gross kind of mass texts that we've seen on other MLMs where we've seen they have their cookie cutter like uh, text um, templates that they use, they send out to everybody. And it looks like Avon started doing that as well. So I don't know how the text got cut off, but the very beginning of it says Avon changing in a big way. Have fun and make good money. Reply with your name and email to see how much you could earn. 18 plus reply stop to opt out. Stop. <laughs> This was posted by a doTERRA hun. I just very conveniently managed to cut off the top part of the clip where it said that, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it isn't about how old you become, but rather how old you allow your body to become. Wow, revolutionary words. Uh, this feels like a messed up version of the saying, you're only as old as you feel. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that saying, and that saying makes a lot more sense than this one. Uh, it also just sounds kind of rich coming from doTERRA to suggest that their essential oils will somehow stop your body from aging. Like, I I doubt that. <laughs> it's not that, but rather how old you allow your body to become. You think I wanted all these gray hair hairs? Do you think I allowed that to happen on my head? No, but it did. And here we are. Shout out to this name is Trashy for uh, posting a picture from across the pond. <laughs> this was taken in London at Parliament Square. This, I believe, is a tour bus and it has, it's kind of hard to see, it's a grainy image, but even you can probably tell that that is a Young Living advertisement on the side of that double-decker. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> If you live in London anywhere uh, and you've seen this, please let me know down below in the comments. Is this real? <laughs> hey, thanks for reaching out. I have some time on Wednesday evening, anytime after six. Just to be clear, this has nothing to do with a multi-level marketing company, right? Hey, for sure, and sounds good. Can you guys make 8 p.m. work on Wednesday? And that's a good question. What we do technically does fall under the umbrella of network marketing, but that's a very broad term. If you're not thinking LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, Warren Buffett, the Fortune 500, then we really wouldn't even be on the same page. Like I may have mentioned before, what we do is set up systems online that drive traffic to companies like Nike, Apple, Microsoft, Target, Home Depot, and get paid on the back end. First things first, if anybody out there knows what it means to get paid on the back end, please let us know down below in the comments. We appreciate you and your knowledge. Thank you. <laughs> The middle of that paragraph is so confusing to me. If you're not thinking LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, Warren Buffett, the Fortune 500, then we wouldn't really even be on the same page. Like the person just asked if this is a multi-level marketing company. That was the question that was asked. And this is the answer. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't answer that guy's question at all. Well, I guess actually, technically speaking, since he uses the term technically, technically he did. <laughs> Uh, so technically he answered and technically it is an MLM <laughs> that happens to drive, drive traffic to companies like Nike, Apple, Microsoft, Target, Home Depot and get, that could, what does that even mean? It is so vague. Nothing was answered in this post. Just more questions. Wow. Bless the soul of the person who sat in through this conference and took these photos. So this is from a 31 conference or meeting, whatever. Um, I haven't really researched 31. I've seen it before. I've seen the name pop up here and there, but I've never actually researched. So I'm not totally familiar with what 31 even is. If you know, feel free to elaborate in the comments. 
uh, that type of knowledge is always appreciated. Um, okay, so this is a presentation, a big old PowerPoint presentation, and it says, if you always remember leader live, but sometimes forget to go to a meeting for your full-time job, you might be a 31 leader. Now, I know at first read, you're like, what, what was so big about that? There was nothing. It was so short. What could possibly be bad? Um, let's go through it again. Always remember leader live. Okay, so that must be some sort of live meeting that they have to watch or attend, you know, on Facebook or something, right? Something that they have to be a part of whenever it happens. Uh, but sometimes you forget to go to a meeting for your full-time job. You might be a 31 leader. They're basically telling you that these online live meetings for your side hustle are more important than going to your full-time job. If you care more about 31 and less about your full-time job, then you might be able to be a 31 leader. And you know why that is? Because you're going to get fired from your full-time job and will have no choice but to put everything into 31 and become a leader. This is horrifying advice. Horrifying. Don't anybody ever do this. Please. Does anyone else's dog do this where they go to take a big old drink of water and then they lift their head to walk away from the water dish and it appears that all of the water just cascades out of their jowls onto the floor? Well, Boots just did that. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. You're so cute. So I'm super excited slash super nervous, but mostly excited to say that I have just started as a distributor for It Works. Oh no. And cannot wait to see what comes of it. Oh, I can't even like fake the happy in that one. My friend Blank reached out to me to see how life was after moving to Blank. I opened up to her and told her it's been a struggle emotionally and financially. Well, she told me about It Works. I've always wanted to use their, okay. I've always wanted to use their products, but I didn't think that being a distributor would be a good fit for me. I'm kind of shy at first to people. I don't know, but I, well, me too. But I thought this would be an amazing opportunity for me to make extra money and branch out of my comfort zone. Spoiler alert, it's not. Here's to a new adventure in my life that I can't wait to start and see where it takes me and see what I can do for myself. You know, like that feeling where you really want to be happy for someone because they're so happy about something, right? Whatever it is, they're so excited about anything. I don't know, dating a person or a job or a new life choice, a new whatever. Uh, and you want to be excited for them because you know that they are so happy in the moment and you want them to feel that happy. But then the logical part of your brain kicks in and you're like, Ooh, but I don't think this is going to be a good thing for you. But like, you can't say anything because that's not like your place to say, you know, so you just get left with this awful feeling of discontent, you know, like, oh, good. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and you're like doing it through your teeth. That's the feeling I had while reading this entire post. Just, oh, great. <laughs> this one, I just. I need to be clear. This one is not satire. It is not satire. <sighs> Women entrepreneurs sharing their journeys and inspiring each other. Well, that sounds great. How could this go wrong? Uh, looking to invest in a new MLM this year. $99 or less. No paparazzi because I'm leaving that business. I will not join It Works Global. Looking to buy my starter kit Monday for the business I choose. <sighs> Let me know what you have for me to look into. In the comment below, is this real or satire? Pretty much encapsulating the thought every single one of us is having right now. <laughs> and then they respond, why would this be satire? Ah, oh, my heart. Ow. Oh, no. Uh, it's also troubling to note that this person previously has already been in at least one MLM. They say they were leaving or they're leaving paparazzi. They say they will not join It Works Global. I don't know if they were in that or not, but they know of at least two MLMs in a bad context. And I guess they learned nothing be because now she's just gonna join a different MLM. <sighs> 
I literally just slouched forward in my chair. I don't know if you could hear the chair squeaking on this fancy new microphone, but that just made me slump forward in defeat and confusion. You know, I've seen some fantastic responses um, to Huns and their text template pitches that they send people in mass, either on Facebook, Instagram, or in text form. Um, <laughs> but this might be the best response I've ever seen. <laughs> This might say a lot about me. <laughs> Hi, I know this is random, but I was looking at your page and was wondering if you'd like to be a product tester for me. I think you're so pretty and would love our products. You'd get a huge discount for doing so. Can I give you more info? And then you got Admiral Akbar going, it's a trap. <laughs> because it is. Because it is. Okay. <laughs> All jokes aside, it is. Just a quick disclaimer, this one is a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, so uh, prepare yourself, grab a beverage if you need. Hard to post, but worth it for those who need to hear it. You are going to live in your skin the rest of your life. Many of us go through stages where we feel there's no hope, there's no light at the end of the tunnel, there's no solution. Then make an appointment to go see a dermatologist to check it out. This day vividly stands out in my memories, the day I went to the dermatologist and left bawling. I felt hopeless. I felt so broken. I was in loads of pain. I just wanted to feel clean. I went to see if there was something I was missing that maybe they could help with. With a seven minute consultation, I walked out feeling like a number, not a patient. I was another one who walked in the door at 19 years old saying their acne was bad. I was recommended Accutane. Now, I think many looking at my skin would say I should do that. Although I knew better, so I wanted to do better. I built my belief from the other hundred and thousands of consultants that struggled with acne like mine. I wanted to refresh my skin in the cleanest way possible, despite being told by the second dermatologist to stop using Arbon. I already knew we were dermatologist tested, so that meant nothing to me. A lot of us today also get recommended CeraVe or Cetaphil, like was I. Little do we know, dermatologists get paid to recommend girl oh i happened to ask why she would recommend a byproduct of crude petroleum oil but an what answer did i get nothing but stop using arbon out walked the door i went and ready that was a strange phrased sentence whatever and ready to prove to myself and others that i will change it on my own and with arbon's help did anybody else face palm when they read that the part I made, made the hair in the back of my neck stand up, like literally the line where it says the second dermatologist to say, stop using Arbon. <sighs> oh, wow. Um, that just makes me feel so bad for this person. They are so young and so misguided and probably have had this bad skin for long enough that they're literally desperate. But I, I know people who have been on Accutane, and while I do think it is an extremely extreme method to get rid of acne, for some forms of acne, it seems to be the only thing that truly works and improves the quality of people's lives. That being said, these Arbon Huns should be ashamed of themselves who... <laughs> Skin is such a complicated thing. And that's why if you have issues with your skin, the best thing to go do is to see a dermatologist because they are the skin people and we are not the skin people. So we we can't make these kind of claims and neither can somebody who's in an MLM. And that line, oh boy, that like dramatic foreshadowing that I felt on that line where she said that uh, a lot of the doctors are paid to recommend products like CeraVe or, C or Cetaphil. And it's like, my dude, but those are the dermatologists that you are referring to who said that Arbon will get rid of your acne. Ah, oh, this one hurts. I got to take a little break after this one. I need a five. I'll be back in a few. Man, these Arbon Huns are just out here in force uh, post New Year's. They are everywhere I look. I feel like every other clip I have up here has been an Arbon one. Me buying off my own website, knowing it benefits my business. <laughs> you leave that cute little sweet smiling dog out of your pyramid scheme, ma'am. They do not go together. 
So I'm sure some of you guys have heard about how YouTube's done some new thing with the comments. They randomly hold comments for review and there's like a whole thing about it. Well, I went to go check out my comments held for review because I was alerted that there was one. Um, and I find this post in response to someone who posted a very nice post to my in my Avon video. They said, uh, my mom would always buy us stocking stuffers from Avon every Christmas, little lipsticks, chapsticks, and jewelry sets. I still have a few. They are probably 15 years old at this point, so not bad quality at all back then. And then I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but an Avon representative appeared in my own comments to try to sell to this person who was talking about how this old makeup and stuff they used to get years ago wasn't half bad. <laughs> they found me, they found us, we've been infiltrated. <laughs> Um, currently the comment is still held for review. Uh, I haven't figured out what to do with it yet because I don't really want this person's information out there. I don't think that's fair for them to advertise in the comments like that with all of it. And I just think it's really funny how the YouTube machine calls this comment potentially inappropriate. And you know what? For once, I have to agree with you, YouTube. <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video. It's time for the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. The animals featured in today's video were sent over by Cassie, AKA the Crafty Cyborg, and I'm gonna go ahead and read the email sent along with the photos. The kitties I got were nothing like what I'd gone in wanting. I wanted adult cats, at least one black, but on a crappy evening, I went to the local pet store to check out their adoptable kitties and a volunteer came in with a carrier full of four kittens. It was an entire litter being placed up ready for adoption that very minute. She unloaded the first two and handed them over, and that was that. I had my babies and I loved them. They were three months old and mostly white, lol. They grew quickly and were lovely, cuddly, rambunctious little monsters. Then disaster struck only a few weeks in. The honeymoon was over. My Nicola, Nick for short, was sick, very sick. His sister Tesla, Tess for short, was distraught over it. He had an extremely dangerous and lethal type of UTI. It's almost unheard of in kittens. This set off a pattern of UTI after UTI. Nothing made any sense. It was hell. Then the unthinkable happened. Tess started getting UTIs too. My vet went over everything with me. We tried it all. One day, a fresh x-ray of Tess revealed something we'd never noticed before. She only had one kidney. Further review of Nick's x-rays showed that while he had two kidneys, they were malformed. Suddenly, it all made sense. I threw out the rule book and started from scratch. The urinary support prescription food made Tess puke so it wasn't an option. I finally got them on a routine of heavily watered down wet food with Miralax added served twice a day along aside small snacks of the dry kibble they loved. The routine's not cheap, but it keeps them far healthier. Nick now has been maybe one infection a year and it's caught early. Tess has been infection free for two and a half years now. My babies are now five and a half and they are the same crazy, cuddly, rambunctious monsters. They chase each other around the house in wrestling matches worthy of WWE, then flop down to lick each other and nap. Tess likes to be carried around like a baby, and she'll launch herself from up to 10 feet away to stand on my shoulders if I'm not giving her enough attention. They greet me at the door every time I come home and sleep on me every chance they get. I wouldn't trade them for anything. Thank you so much, Cassie, for sending over the photos and that amazing story. You are doing a phenomenal thing. I know that taking on cats with needs like that can be very difficult, but I am so glad there are people like you out there. And just so everyone knows, uh, Cassie's channel is The Crafty Cyborg. If you want to see videos of her kitties romping around and playing, I definitely recommend going and checking that out. Thank you so much, Cassie. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to adopt not shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, foster if you can, and don't forget to spay new to your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go ahead and send it to my email in my channel description, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I love to hear what you have to say and love interacting with you all. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that long awaited, long anticipated r slash anti MLM video. I'll be back out in the next day or so with another one of these. So look forward to that. And I hope the new mic is doing okay. It is smarter than I am. So so there's some logistics I need to work out. <laughs> I know, like I said earlier, there's a bit of an echo among other things that I need to uh, <laughs> iron out, so to speak. Uh, all right, folks, I love you so very much. And as always, until the next video, take care. <laughs>